other outputs of oscillators can be square waves. Square waves are particularly practical when dealing with digital circuits. And for high performance digital circuits, you would use an external oscillator circuit like we have seen with the Culpitz oscillator. But in lower performance applications, the clock stability is of less importance and it is okay if the frequency is varying a bit from period to period. In that case, you can implement a so-called delay line oscillator by cascading numerous NOT gates and feeding them into each other. And as long as you have an odd number of NOT gates, you can take the output of the last one and feed it back to the input of the first one. And if the first one here has an input that is high, the output of it would be low, the output of the second one would be high, and the output of the third one here would be low, which is the exact opposite of what we had when we were feeding it the first time, and therefore the whole chain would switch around and the output would oscillate in a square wave. Now each of those transitions from the input to the output takes a little bit of time, the so-called delay time, time d. And the summation of all of those delays here gives us our frequency. We can furthermore adjust that oscillation frequency by the number of delay lines that we are putting into the oscillation loop. The math behind that oscillation is the exact same as we have looked into already when we were looking into the gain phase diagrams of the operational amplifier. The output of the first inverter is delayed by TD from the input of that first inverter and the second one is therefore delayed by two times TD. The sign is always changing as we are looking into an inversion here. And at the end, we have the last one, the output, being delayed by three times TD. And if we take the Laplace transformation of a time delay, we get a multiplication with the exponential function, where the argument of the exponential function is minus TD, times the complex frequency s. And if we do that three times, we get the transfer function of our delay line to be the exponential function, where the argument is minus three times td times the complex frequency s. The argument of that exponential function then determines when our delay line reaches the minus 180 degrees and therefore adjusts the frequency. Another way of generating a square wave is simply using one of the sine wave oscillators and here modeled by a sine wave source and feed them into a comparator at the non-inverting input of the comparator and compare the signal to the average of that sine wave here and therefore the output of the comparator would be the sine of that sine wave and typically oscillating between the supply voltages of that comparator.